I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Monday morning, the 24th of June, 2024, and this is your friend Angus Bucket with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and I'm reading two verses, verse 7 and verse 8. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes. But its leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. And then Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 6, The Lord is my helper, I will not fear. What can man do to me? We need to trust the Lord unconditionally. If we have done everything we can in our own strength, then after that, it's totally in God's hands. I remember in the drought years we had on this farm. Folks, I want to tell you there's nothing worse. There's nothing that puts a man down more than driving around a crop that he has planted by faith and watching it starting to shrivel up and die because there is no rain. That is the time when you and I have got to trust the Lord unconditionally. Job chapter 13, verse 15. Remember, Job was a farmer. He said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. You see, God can do something with a man like that, who unconditionally trusts the Lord. Yes, You've got to do your homework. You've got to work hard. You've got to make sure you're walking according to God's precepts and then allow him to change a drought into an abundant crop. Now, folks, if you can't believe in miracles, then you can't be a Christian because the word of God is one miracle from beginning to end. And I want to tell you, I've seen too many miracles in my life not to believe that our God is alive, He is well, and He is on the side of those who put their trust in Him. I have seen years where it looks like the crop is done, and then at the 11th hour, the rain comes. The roots are deep into the ground. They drink in the water, and there is an incredible reward. Don't walk by sight. Walk by faith in God, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, and he will see you through. Whatever that thing is that you are struggling with today, give it to the Lord, do your best, and then start to praise him and watch what he will do for you. Jesus bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.